and down the country, families are busy preparing for the big day. But some people are facing Christmas with trepidation rather than expectation. This year, Georgina and her mum will face their first Christmas without Steve, the dad who's always been at the centre of their family. Tell me a bit about your dad. I mean, I'm looking at him there. Great photograph of him. What was he like? Uh, he was always a really happy person. He was so enthusiastic about things. He was never pessimistic about life. He always took life as it came. How did you find out that he had cancer? He was diagnosed with a rare kind of cancer called a sarcoma, which is a cancer of the soft tissue. And it, there was no cure. We kept trying, but we kind of knew that there wasn't really going to be any way to get through it. When he eventually did die, did you have a chance to say goodbye to him? Uh, yeah, my mum came and asked me, did I want to go and say goodbye, because we knew he wasn't going to last out the day. And just as we were leaving, the hospital rang us and told us to be quick, because he was, he was going. And when we got there, he'd just gone. It was such a devastating moment for me, and I was crying. I was hugging him, I clutched him for about half an hour, and I wouldn't let go. It was hard, but I'd been taught well by my dad. My dad taught me to always get on with life and not to let anything stop me. Think of me, think of me fondly when we said goodbye. Remember me every so often, promise me all I try. And you were in the middle of your GCSEs at the time, weren't you? My dad died on the Sunday and my next GCSE was on the following Thursday, which was for maths. And I went into school the following day. And my, te my maths teacher told me, you don't have to do this maths GCSE if you really don't want to. And I knew that my dad would have wanted me to do it. And I went and did it. Stop and think of me. And I came out with 195 out of 200 marks <laughs> in that maths GCSE. Did you have a sense that you were doing it for him, in a sense? That was definitely the main thing that came into my head. And to what extent has your experience influenced the way that you see your own future? I want to be able to help other people who might be suffering with this kind of cancer. Even if it's not sarcomas, even if it's just any kind of cancer, so I'd like to go into a specialist area of being a, a doctor trained in cancer. What's kept you going through it all? Definitely a big help has been my mum and also definitely my faith because my faith has mainly come from how my dad taught me, my Christian upbringing, and that faith in God has just really pulled me through and help me to pray and help me to get some sort of relief and some sort of comfort from knowing that my dad is still watching over me.
weekend's beginning for a group of Wiggins teenagers. These young people are members of 220 Youth, a church group exploring faith and forging friendships. Emma's grown up with the church. It's just a massive family. Like, you come and you just feel like you've come home. So you could have had a rubbish week, stuff's going wrong and stuff, and you just feel totally accepted, totally at home. You learn more about God and passionate people. And you just want to get to know them more. The group's part of today's community church, a Christian community at the heart of Wigan. Nick joined two years ago. Before I came, I always felt like I was searching for something, um, but never really getting that. But now, coming to 220, that hole that was in my life is now made a hole. These kids don't just hang out with each other on a Friday night. The following day, they're out in Wigan High Street offering hugs and sweets to passers-by, as well as a special Christmas message for the public. Would you like some free sweets? Um, great, brilliant. Thanks a lot. I've been given a lollipop now and it just says, don't just give a gift, be a gift. And that's brilliant, you know, that's a great ethos. Give of yourself. Take a lolly. Oh, Love just going out, being able to show people who, who, who God is, who, who our church is, who youth yeah. is. <laughs> nice to see something like that in the town and that, because the world can be an ugly place at towns up. It's nice when people are giving free hugs, can't do any harm, can it? I just think, you know, youth are so important and like vital as part of the community, and it's so important that we just keep being ourselves, being authentic, and looking after people, yeah. loving people. It says in the Bible that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, that you can move mountains and mountains. It says in the Bible that everything's possible with God, and I truly believe that. You've just got to have the faith in him and the faith in yourself. I was. 